So reactivity of, of group 17, eh, the reactivity decreases down the group, means that uh, from, from fluorine to astatine, eh, fluorine is the most reactive. From, from uh, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, eh, astatine, okay. Uh, fluorine is the most reactive. Okay, and astatine is least reactive. Okay, so uh, so the reactivity decreases down the group from the most reactive to the least reactive. Why, uh, when go down to the group, okay, uh, the the reactivity decreases. Why? Because for group one, uh, okay, I don't know whether you still remember or not. Okay, so please tell me for group ones when. Uh, Go down to the group, uh, okay? The reactivity increases or decreases? It increases, yes. Okay, it becomes more and more reactive. Uh. So down the group, uh, for group 1, the reactivity will increase. Uh, but but for group 17, okay? Group 17, the reactivity will decrease. Okay, and uh, why? Uh, that is because when halogens react, uh, it gains an electron. Group, group 1, when they react, they will... Uh, throw away electrons, right? They will release electrons. Eh? But group 17s, they will receive electrons. Okay, and after receiving electron, they will become a, a, an ion eh? with negative one charge. Okay, with negative one charge. Uh, as go down the group, eh? the size of the atom increases due to an extra filled electron shell. Okay, let's compare this: eh? fluorine and uh, chlorine. Okay, so all. Both of them has uh, seven electrons, okay, seven valence electrons. Eh? And down the group from fluorines to chlorine, then we can see that uh, this fluorine is much bigger compared to this fluorine, right? And then the way they react is they receive electrons. Eh? They receive electrons. Uh, they will attract the electron eh, to the outermost shell, okay? But if we compare these two, so which one do you think they can attract? Uh, the electrons are uh, easier. Uh, fluorine, yes. Okay. Fluorine. Uh, why? Because uh, the size of the atom is very small. Eh? Okay. So these electrons are very close to the nucleus of fluorine. Eh? If the force is strong, then they can uh, receive these electrons uh, easily. Because the radius, if you see the radius, uh, you will find that uh, fluorine is much smaller. Okay. This one is the radius. Eh? And this is the radius for chlorine. So the radius for fluorine is um, uh, very small. Okay, so uh, therefore uh, they can attract electrons easily compared to chlorine. Eh? Okay, this can attract electrons easily. Okay. And uh, when they uh, attract electrons, uh, then they will take part in the uh, chemical reactions. They take part in chemical reactions and form uh, fluoride ion. This is fluorine. After receive this electrons, uh, okay, you can see this electron actually is filled into this uh, empty space here. Okay, uh, they become. Uh, I think it's become this electrons. Okay, this electron, and it become flu uh, fluoride. Uh, carry one negative charge. So these explanations. Uh, okay, these explanations. Yep. So the reactivity of fluorine is uh, higher compared to chlorine because it can uh, attract electrons easier compared to uh, chlorine. So the valence electrons are further and further from the nucleus. The attraction force between the electrons and the nucleus become weaker and uh, weaker. And therefore, the abilities of the atoms to attract electrons uh, to fill the outermost shell reduces. Okay, because the attraction force become weak. Okay, and therefore the reactivity of the atom uh, reduces.